Well, more now on Kate's shocking cancer diagnosis, with the Prince and Princess of Wales revealing the family will be spending quality time together over Easter, skipping the traditional church service at Windsor. For more, let's bring in Associate Editor of The Telegraph, Camilla Tomini now. Camilla, good to see you. Now, this, of course, comes as no surprise. No, exactly. I mean, we knew that the Royal Diary was going to be cleared anyway when we only thought that Kate was contending with having to recover from that abdominal surgery. It was always suggested that she'd only be back to work after Easter. Obviously, the shock news that came through in the UK on Friday night has basically put everything on hold. And who could blame either her or indeed Prince William for wanting to take a step back now and make sure that she focuses on this chemotherapy treatment. There had been some talk about the King maybe making an appearance on Easter Sunday. That might still go ahead. Buckingham Palace saying that they're hoping that he can be there for the traditional church service. Mm. But I think the notion of seeing Kate or William for some time now, I think, you know, they'll have to just take a step back, be with their children over the Easter holidays. That's why she timed that video message, Sarah, yeah. for when they did, because they wanted to make sure that they could manage the fallout. Obviously, it's quite difficult in the first place to break such news to such young children. Mm. But I think they wanted to make sure that term was out and they would be at home so that they could prepare the children for, obviously, the inevitable press coverage. I mean, and it was such a shock, wasn't it, to hear Kate's news over the weekend, especially after all that speculation. Really brave by Princess Kate to come out the way she did, apparently penning that statement herself as well. Were the royals surprised in any way by the public reaction, given all the controversy that we'd seen? Well, I think, I mean, she definitely penned it herself and had resolved that she wanted to deliver a video message because I think she felt that a written statement was a bit too sterile and didn't really sort of convey exactly what's been going on for the last two mm. months. And we now understand the timing, don't we? The unfortunate thing is that that void has been filled with people on social media spreading hateful conspiracy theories and false rumours. And um, even today, would you believe, Sarah, you know, there are still people doubling down and criticising the princess after she's made this hugely courageous revelation about her own health and circumstances. You sort of can't sort of understand how no. low some people would swoop, really. I mean, it's just appalling. But I think most of the general public, not just, of course, in Britain, but I'm sure in Australia and beyond, looked at her thought, goodness me, it can't have been easy to record that message and deliver it. No. I thought she delivered it amazingly well. I sort of wrote a piece of the Telegraph saying it did remind me a bit of Queen Elizabeth II, you know, calm and collected, but speaking not just as a royal, but as a mother and a wife. Um, and so she's been commended for that. But I think now really is the time to now let her go and recover in peace. Yeah, absolutely. Incredibly courageous and heartfelt as well, that address. Now, we know that she's starting a course of preventative chemotherapy. We've got two royals, of course, now with a cancer diagnosis. You wrote as well, Camilla, over the weekend that the king and princess are leaning on each other during their cancer battles. Has this brought them closer together? Well, they were already quite close. I mean, obviously, Kate's been on the scene now for more than two decades. And she's very close to her own family, very close to her father, Michael Middleton. So you wouldn't say necessarily that the king is a, a sort of like a surrogate father. But the way I've described it is that Kate is a little bit like the, the daughter he never had. And we know that when they were both being treated in the London clinic, that he would pop down the corridor and see her after she was recovering from her own operation. Subsequently, we know they've spoken a lot. We know that they spoke um, after she decided that she wanted to do this statement and before she actually delivered it. And we can expect them to continue speaking. I also was told that Queen Camilla's been trying to help her just through the media storm aspect of all this. Yeah. So I think before she made the announcement, because she was having to cope with the fallout of everything that was said about the Mother's, Mother's Day photo and everything else. I think Camilla lent some support because, let's be honest, she knows what it's like to have a difficult press. And, by the way, she knows what it's like to shepherd children through a mm. media storm. So, yeah, we've very much seen the family coming together on this one. Developments in the Princess of Wales cancer battle this morning with Kate and William pulling out of an Easter tradition. New Nine Europe correspondent Ed Jess Millwood is in London. Jess, good morning. They'll be staying out of the public's view. Good morning, Sarah. They will indeed. Kate, William and the children have headed to Norfolk. That is their holiday home gifted to them by the Queen when they got married. They will spend some quality family time there after Princess Kate revealed that she is battling cancer. 
The Prince and Princess of Wales have released a statement thanking people for the enormous outpouring of support they've received since she filmed that video and released it Friday night UK time. It means that they won't be going to the traditional Easter Mass in Windsor. But Buckingham Palace says that the King will try and be there. It's believed he will be there alongside Queen Camilla and then not too many others because the King needs to limit how many people he comes into contact with while he continues to undergo his cancer treatment. We've had a new insight this morning into how he is dealing with all of that from his nephew, Princess Anne's son, Peter Phillips. He's given an interview to Sky News Australia saying the King is doing well but growing frustrated he can't be out and about more. Take a look. The overriding um, message would be that he's, he's obviously very keen to get back to, to a form of normality um, and is, is probably frustrated that um, recovery is, 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 is you know, taking a little longer than probably he, he would want it to. Yeah, he's clearly putting pressure on everyone to get back out and about. Uh, Peter Phillips said that the King and Queen Camilla are also still planning for a royal trip down under when his health has stabilised. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?